everybody, this is Leslie from Midlife and Nailing It. Today I'm participating in another cookbook collab hosted by Southern Wife Everyday Life, one of my very favorite channels on YouTube. I will put a link to her channel as well as a link to the playlist in my description box below. Let's get started. Hi everybody, it's Leslie with Midlife and Nailing It. I'm really excited to be here with you. Today I'm featuring one of Snoop Dogg's recipes from his best-selling cookbook right here behind me called Crook to Cook. So Snoop's cookbook exceeded my expectations. True story. This is such a down-to-earth cookbook. I absolutely love it. I mean, your forewords written by Martha Stewart. I, I, I just can't. Their little relationship so freaking cute. I can't even stand it. I, right away, he puts his staples in his pantry, and it's like ketchup, honey, tuna, hot sauce, lemon pepper. I mean, it's just super down to earth. And then he's got his favorite cereals in here. Um, what he's got in his fridge. It's just super fun. It has definitely been an absolute joy to go through. Let's do a quick flip through of just the colorfulness, the fonts, the playlist, the whole nine yards. It's just gorgeous, you guys. And of course, you know, there's Jen and Juice recipes in here. There's your OG Jen and Juice right there in a red solo cup. Doesn't get much better than that. It's Snoop Dogg. I want to start rapping, but then I would be swearing, and we're not allowed to. Do, we're not allowed to do that on here. Um, but anyway, so today I am going to be making Snoop Dogg's next level salmon, and this includes green beans as well. I will list the ingredients in my description box below, but you need to watch my video to get the instructions. Um, so yeah, let's try Snoop's Next Level Salmon. So uh, for Snoop's recipe, it is a cookie sheet meal, and um, I want to get my green beans ready. I bought two pounds of green beans. Um, you could just get a pound, but to feed my family, I need to get uh, two pounds because you do snap off both ends, and they do shrink up when they cook. So that's what I'm doing. I kind of make like a little system here. So I just poured these out on my counter. Um, I use the bag that they came in. That's what I'll put my ends in. And then I'll go ahead and get my beans in the strainer. And I will uh, give them a quick wash. I'll show you what that looks like when I get them in the strainer. You can use your imagination. You just snap them. They naturally snap if you've never uh, cooked with a fresh green bean. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. It just naturally snaps where it should. And you want to do both ends. Discard the snapped end and then get it into something to clean it. All right, guys, so I just want to show you really quick. Like, so out of the two pounds of beans, this is what I have left. Um, and once you, like, pop off the ends, there's quite a lot, there's quite a lot left. So be careful when you're buying green beans, is my point, fresh, because you're going to want to probably buy double what you think you want to buy. Um, just a tip for those of you that may not know. So I'm just going to make sure I'm cleaning my beans up and then we will move right along. Okay guys, so for the green beans, Snoop and I, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> we are. It's basically my recipe except for he adds garlic cloves. So if you've watched my channel before, this is pretty much how I make green beans. Um, he did say just to toss it all together and throw it on the cookie sheet, on one side of the cookie sheet. But I am going to actually let the green beans marinate uh, for a bit. And um, so I'm kind of gearing away from Snoop's recipe. That's just how I roll with any recipe. I just have a bowl here uh, with a large glad bag. And then what I'm going to do is just dump my green beans in here. And then Snoop wants you to add some salt and pepper to taste and two garlic cloves chopped up. If you didn't have garlic cloves, I'm positive you could use garlic salt or powder here. 
So you want to get that in. And then he says to use two tablespoons of either olive oil or vegetable oil. I always use olive oil here. This is pretty much the same recipe I use. I'm eyeballing it, guys. If you want to measure it, you can. So I've got it all in there. And so I just went ahead and ziplocked my bag really well. And I'm just gonna like massage this little quick marinade into my green beans. Now this isn't what Snoop says to do, but this is what Leslie says to do. We're joining forces. He doesn't know it, but we are. Um, and so then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and set that aside and we're gonna move right along. All right, next we're going to preheat our oven to 425. So let's go ahead and get that rolling before we go to the next step. Next, I have my cookie sheet out here. Don't judge it, guys. I cook a lot. That's why it looks like it does. Anyone that cooks a lot knows that's what cookie sheets look like. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put some parchment paper down on it. I do have these parchment pre-cut sheets. Have you guys ever seen these? They're awesome. You don't have to sit and dink around with it. They just fit on your cookie sheet. If you don't have parchment paper, Snoop Dogg and Leslie both say use aluminum foil. So you want to use one or the other so your stuff does not stick. So to um, a bowl, or I'm just using my Pyrex here, I'm going to add two teaspoons of just some white vinegar. All right, Snoop, we're going to try it. For shizzle. For shizzle. <laughs> There's one and two. Next, he wants three tablespoons of Dijon mustard here. There's one, two, and three. And then we're going to need a tablespoon of honey. Whatever honey you'd like to add. This happens to be clover honey. All right, one tablespoon of honey going in. All right, guys, I'm going to give this a quick whisk up. So we're going to sprinkle both sides of our salmon very generously with salt and then pepper. I'm going to flip them. And I did pat these dry. I forgot to show you that part. I think it's probably a good idea that you do that as well. But that's up to you. And then we're going to salt the other side. We're going to pepper the other side. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I've got a little station going. I have my salt and peppered salmon fillets here. I've got that mustard vinegar honey mixture here. And then I've got my cookie sheet with the parchment paper here. So I made like a little assembly line. So I'm picking up a salmon filet and I'm putting it into Snoop's mixture. And Brandy's gonna grab this so I can do this. Why I can't pick this filet up, I do not know. Get it on there. Yep. And you're going to coat your filet completely into your mixture. Now, Snoop does say to do four filets, but these are rather big. And in fact, I'm a little nervous that they all won't fit or I won't have enough of my mixture here to add. But here's hoping. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my parchment paper. Okay, guys, so we've got our salmon done. Ours took up a bit of space. I'm a little nervous about all the green beans fitting. We're gonna try. Snoop wants you to fit your green beans on the rest of the parchment paper. Obviously he had small fillets, so maybe I should have just split these two fillets in half uh, and then did the other side with the green beans, but I don't really think that would be enough food for my family. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, we've talked about Chandler before. <laughs> it's the Hunger Games up in here, guys. And so I've got my green beans here. They've been hanging out in the olive oil, salt and pepper, and garlic cloves. I'm going to go ahead and dump them on my cookie sheet. And then I'll just use my hands and kind of move them around. I'm going to scoot him over a little bit. We're going to make this work. 
So this is what my cookie sheet looks like before I get it into the oven. We've got our oven all preheated at 425. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. Snoop says 10 to 14 minutes. I'm gonna do 14 minutes. Uh, I like my green beans to be well done and I like my fish to be done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cook this for 14 minutes on 425 and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right guys, I just pulled this out of the oven. It smells so good. Look at that fish. Does that look good? And my green beans look delicious. I will say I did cook this for six minutes longer than what Snoop said. My green beans just weren't done. Okay, so Snoop's recipe, he does want you to take some fresh parsley and sprinkle it around the dish because what doesn't taste better with a little bit of fresh parsley? I could not find any at my store. I'm out of dried, I thought I had it, I don't. I am gonna do this though. I grabbed some parm cheese and lately on my green beans, I've liked to sprinkle a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Um, not the imitation stuff, guys. You don't wanna put that on your green beans. But I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this on. I gotta let it sit on there a minute. For a second, I thought you were doing bacon wrap salmon. I never even heard of that. I know, neither have I. Eh? I just assumed it was in Snoop Dogg's recipe book. His book is cool. Have you looked at it? No. You guys, so while I was sprinkling my green beans with my Parmesan cheese and the camera was upside down, my son was swiping green beans, so I had to leave it in. He's so dang cute. I couldn't stand it. All right, guys, I got my parm on. I'm going to kind of leave this alone for about a minute, let my parm melt a bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. We're all kind of like picking at this. It's so good. I can't even put it into words how good it is. So good job, Snoop. We love it. Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we I love can it. I can it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so we're going to dig in, guys. My son's chomping at the bit. And if we don't get in there, we aren't going to get any food. I already know. So here we go. Snoop Dogg, guys. Yes for the cookbook. Yes for this meal. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.